Now, first of all, it is Gary Ridgway, the Green River Killer, they like to call him. The deadliest serial killer in the nation's history. Escaped from the death penalty by promising to show all the bodies of the victims like he bargained with the people who were dead. Should this be allowed to happen, Franklin? What do you think of this kind of nonsense? <laughs> I think he used what he had to do to try to save his life. You know, basically, I would probably do the same thing, you know. Uh... The killing part or just the uh, negotiating? <laughs> No, I haven't gone to the killing part yet. No, I, no, but the negotiate. Hell yeah. I but how do we know? You were in Australia. So you've been in so much in Australia. You can probably commit murders, and then when the heat comes on, you come back here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the heat was on in Australia. For free. What about New Zealand? Have you ever been there? That seems kind of creepy. I've been in New Zealand. I've been in New Zealand. Yeah. What's that know? like? Weird. Uh, no, it's cool. I mean, in Australia. I mean, in Australia. Like Australia doesn't have. Uh, you can't. They don't have any guns over there. I mean, all their their crimes are with knives. All right. So like a lot Paul of, Hogan. That's not a knife. That's right. right. That's right. So <laughs> it's a crack up. I mean. I'll turn on the news and they'll say, you know, 7-Eleven was, was robbed with a knife, but the people live. That's the thing that I've noticed, which is different. But right. uh, they don't, and they'll give murderers over there like eight years, so which blows my mind, right? But I look at Because it's so hard to murder someone there. You got to stab them and stab them. You got to stab them. That's stab right. Them. And plus, it takes and, forever. You know, and an Australian, an Australian life is not worth as much as an American life. That's true. Greg, you're, you know, you're on television. What, what, you what about my boy Chopper? Chopper! Chopper Reed lives in my neighborhood. He does? Chopper, you know, Watch he's out. a cat. He's he's a a killer. cat. Who cut off his ears, right? Yeah, that son of a bitch is yeah, a He was a crazy there. cat, man. Now, I now, want, this guy originally I don't like. Oh, um, the guy in Seattle? Why not? Because originally he said he killed 60 women, and then it turns out it was 48. And I just hate somebody that has to, like, exaggerate to make themselves look better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big talker, right? You're right. It's such a turn off. Plus, that's the record now. So if you're a, a psychopath or a sociopath, you know, like, I want to do late things. Oh, I got it. I'm like 45. Can you know 60? Right. You know. You know. I'm not gonna do that. And he'll be. He did the most in the first three years, and he laid off yeah. for like eight years. I mean, yeah. this guy has real willpower. He, he shouldn't uh, go to jail. He should get a medal for stick to it. If this. <laughs> get off of me, you pig! Get off of you pig! Um, You're as bad as Giraldo in the next segment. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Let's see what some folks on the street have to say about the old Green River Killer. <laughs> He took, what, 13 lives, 11, 14, 40 some, 48 lives? Let's get rid of him. Now we should have hookers actually come to his cell, beat him down a couple of days. He deserves what he gets. Me, personally, I castrate him. I castrate him and cut his fingers off. Apparently, he likes to kill women because uh, he doesn't like women. But when I think men don't like women like that, there's really a deep-seated reason. And they really love women. They wrote a book about that, didn't they? I, I started reading that book, and I lost it. After. I think you should excuse Hey, fellas, no, shoot any dope hard. lately? Um, <laughs> I just want to say that the Pretty first guy with the teeth nice issue, yes. he should go on extreme makeover. Let me just say something. You know, at the Is there anybody in that tape that didn't have a teeth, teeth issue? The whole tape did. The ultra extreme Personally, makeover. Personally, I tell you what I do. I can't straight hit him cut over his face. You know, it, you know what bugs me about this whole thing is that they're... We allowed him to negotiate, right? Because they, right. He would, they only had evidence on seven murders, and they knew he was probably connected to the others. So the yeah. victims' families wanted closure. They wanted to know where their loved right. ones were buried. But so we had to let him negotiate. You know, isn't there a way to get him? I mean, can't we make yeah. his prison life more unpleasant so that he's forced to tell? I mean, it just seems absurd. A guy's responsible for that 50 murders. That is what free trade is about. And if you go to a Coldplay concert, <laughs> that's what Chris Martin is talking about with the Whoa. free trade free. Is that what it is? <laughs> that pain in the ass. I'm I, thought you were, I thought it was just about course. being a boring musician. But if you were a parent, the real question is, if you were a parent and they said, all right, you can find out if your daughter has been killed, yes. but you got to let him live. You want to know. Can, yeah. What would you yes, do? Yes, you want to know. Can't they, they, yeah. they just put him in a cell with like mule c Johnson or something? Yeah. There's no, but who's going to look? There's an old guy doesn't look yeah. that good. You know, you know, you're not so sure anyone's going to. I do him. I do him in a second. I would do it. Look. I, I also love that there's, you know, serial, the serial death penalty in Seattle seems sort of. I mean, doesn't everyone try to kill themselves there anyway? Yeah. It is the suicide capital. It is a suicide. That rain. The rain yeah. does. Yeah. You know, he also, uh, this guy killed all prostitutes, apparently. The right. Killer. So maybe there's a, there's a silver lining in all this, and maybe at least it could serve as a wake-up call to all the young girls out there dreaming of one day being prostitutes, you know, <laughs> yeah, to remind they, them that it's not all yeah. glitz and glamour. They can raise you know? the bar a little bit. Well, well, another Julia thing. Roberts movie. Right, Well, right. another thing is... Uh, uh, he killed women of all races. Yeah. And he, they asked him Edgy. why. He, he said, I'm not, I'm not a racist, basically. That's what he said. <laughs> he so he was into diversity. That's how the Benetton stores got to be so popular. Say what? The Benetton well, let me ask you this about the Patriot It was Act. a Benetton. Greg, you're a lawyer, or at least our legal mind, or you were a lawyer. Will you tell us you're a lawyer and we believe you? <laughs> I don't know what the story is. Okay. But uh, what do you think about this Patriot Act used against a strip club?